Hello and welcome to Baking with Becky. So today I'm going to be making Lloyd's birthday cake. Now it's a bit of an unusual cake to have for a birthday cake, but we're going to be taking it um, where we're going um, with us. So um, I've decided I'm going to make a banana bread. Lloyd loves banana bread. Um, it's a gluten-free recipe again. Um, it's not dairy free this time or vegan but it's definitely gluten free so to start off with we're going to start by mashing the bananas so you need 225 grams of bananas So once 225 grams of banana is in the bowl, pop it off the scales and mash it up. Okay, so that's all the banana mashed up. Just pop that to one side for one moment. And we're gonna measure some other ingredients into the bowl. Okay, just grab the bowl from the mixer. So the first thing to go in is 225 grams of dark brown soft, soft dark brown sugar. Next to go in is two eggs. One, two eggs, then you need to add the 225 grams of mashed banana, next is 50 grams of butter and that needs to be melted so I'll probably pop that in the microwave just to melt it down a bit. Melt of butter into the mixture. That's all in. Next, we need one tablespoon of black treacle. So I'm just getting my tablespoon measurer. And then the last thing to go in this section is. 125 millilitres of buttermilk. So that's 125 millilitres of buttermilk. I think I used this before in some pancakes. Okay, then the next thing to do is pop it on to the mixer, and once it's all blended up, then it'll be ready to add the dry ingredients in. So that's that mixed up. Now the next ingredient to add in is 375 grams of gluten-free plain flour. Okay, so that's 375 grams of gluten-free plain flour. I'm just going to stir this in a bit just so it doesn't go everywhere when I pop it onto the mixer. So the next ingredient is one teaspoon of baking powder. Get my teaspoon measurer. And then you need one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And then the last ingredient is one t 
teaspoon of mixed spice. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that into the mixer again, get it all nice and blended together and then we can pop it in the tin. So here's our lovely mixture, all ready to go into the tin. Making sure it's evenly mixed. Looks to be. One minute. Now we just need to prepare the tin. So I've got a loaf tin. And then I'm just going to pop grease it first, so put a bit of butter around the edge just so that the paper sticks. There we go, then we just need some grease to the paper. I just did about double the width of the tin. neatly in the tin as you can. There we go and then it's ready for the mixture. So just basically pour the mixture into the tin. The mixture's pretty runny so it kind of does what it needs to do when it's in the tin spreads across the whole tin. Just using a spatula just to get all the bits out of the tin, all the mixture out of the, sorry, all the mixture out of the bowl. Just press it around gently, not too firmly, so it keeps the air in the mixture. Okay, so then all we have to do is pop it into the oven at 180 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. I'm gonna pop it in for 50 and have a look what it looks like and then see if it needs a little bit longer. So here it is, the finished banana bread. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more Baking with Becky, Lounging with Lloyd, Walt Disney World vlogs, and at the moment, Vlogmas. Bye.